waffles in the morning, syrup sweet and slow. Golden stacks are rising, sunrise in the glow. Sticky joy so grand, breakfast on demand. Smile and take my hand in waffle wonderland. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Waffle Cast. So today we're gonna be talking about a couple things. Um, not really like a huge topic, like one topic day. Um, if you notice, I didn't put out a video last week. I'm still kind of getting over being sick. <clears throat> uh, I did catch a cold. Uh, also still passing the kidney stone. Bunch of stuff going on, right? Uh, life happens. So um, one of the things I want to talk about is life in general, right? Life can be pretty unpredictable at times. It can be pretty crazy, um, but it can also be really good. Um, one of the things that <clears throat> kind of got put into perspective for me this last weekend when I was experiencing a lot of pain through the kidney stone, right? I uh, was feeling <laughs> very strong emotions, right? Just a lot of pain, a lot of frustration, a lot of anger. Um, and then I realized that a lot of the times when we live in the moment, right? When we are experiencing something in the present, there's a lot of motion uh, tied to that, right? Whether it be happiness, whether it be anger, whether it be pain, whether it be sadness, whether it be joy, whatever it is, there is always an emotion tied to that. Um, and it made me really realize that um, a lot of things in life can lead us one way or the other based on these emotions. And this leads me into uh, what's going on right now. Um, not just with world events and other things, but also with magic right now. We just had the Marvel Secret Layer drop. We had, um, which was like ridiculous how fast it sold out. Uh, then we had MTG Foundations come out. And we've had a lot of, just a lot of things really flooding us, right? And I want you guys to um, understand that it's okay to not have to buy every little thing that comes out, right? I mean, I told everybody when I did my video about the Marvel Secret Layers, I wasn't gonna be buying any. Um, with foundations, I do wanna buy some foundations um, for the pool game and for my own you know, enjoyment of opening, things like that. But um, realistically, sometimes you have to look at your finances. You have to look at where you are, what's going on. You know, we have Christmas coming up. We have Thanksgiving. We have holidays. We have a lot of family time coming. And so um, really just break down what you have going on, what you're going to need to allocate funds for, what you're going to need to allocate time for, things like that. And just understand that like the Marvel Secret Layer Foundations it's not going anywhere. It's not just like it's going to poof and vanish on you, right? Um, let's take a look real quick. Like, if you would have bought, like I did a video, if you would have bought the Marvel Secret Layer, right? Non-foils was like $199.99 for the whole package. Foils was like $249.99. Uh, right now, if you go on eBay, you know, TCG Player, wherever, Prices have been super inflated, right? I mean, I'm staring at TCG right now to where the market price for the the rainbow foils is $582. That's almost, that's more than double what you would have paid if you would have been able to get it through the line. Now I get it. They made it to where it was a very short print run. It sold out quickly and some people just didn't get it. And now people are FOMOing because they're like, oh my gosh, I can buy it on eBay, I can buy it here, I can buy it there. And there's, I mean, I'm looking at this, there's over seven pages worth of sales, 62 listings on just TCG Player itself for the foil uh, drop for all five, right? And right now there's one, the lowest price is $380 with $11 of shipping. That's $400. I, I mean, let's be real. I don't have $400 to drop on this. And I really don't think it's a priority to drop $400 to get all of these cards. Now, are they cool cards? Are they special? Absolutely. 
But what I'm what I'm getting at with all of this, and, and I'm going to get with this with foundations too, is that these prices are going to come down. Just wait out the market. You know, um, you look at foundations. The back when it got released uh, to the public, as far as like knowing that it was going to come out, it opened up at about $170 a boxes boxes $170 a box back in September. And there were people that bought around September, like the end of September, they started buying some at like 168, 160, things like that. And then it dropped all the way down to $120 and people bought at $120. And then it's gone back up since then to about 137, but people really aren't buying it right now. Um, as far as I can see, there's been zero sold um, in the last three days. Prior to that, there's been over 500 sold. So there, there, there's been some pretty good volume, right? Um, it's back in uh, late October, there was over 700 sold. That's wild. So, but the thing is, is foundations is going to be legal for five years. And this is what's this is one of the things that I feel our society needs to work on is patience. And let me let me give you an example of having patience, right? I've had this kidney stone since August, the beginning of August, and it's November now. So four months I have been dealing with on and off pain that is very excruciating. That is I mean, I can't get it out any faster, right? But I would like to. Now, I can go to the hospital, pay more money to have them take it out of me, or I can wait. Yes, I'm in pain. It's not enough pain to make me go and pay the extra money. Same thing with this. I want the product of foundations, but it's more pain for me painful for me to buy it now rather than just wait for it to drop because once everybody gets theirs in a sense these these people that have to have it early it's going to lose a lot of its kind of wow factor and people it's going to come down in price okay so realistically live within your means if you can afford buying a couple boxes by all means buy a couple boxes i'm not saying not to um, if you want to have that experience now, but if you're somebody like me who wants to, you know, get the most value for their money, best bang for their buck, and don't have the luxury to drop three, four, five hundred dollars worth of, you know, worth of money onto this product, then don't. Don't put yourself in a bad bind, a bad situation, because you got to be right there getting it with everybody else. It's okay to wait. It's okay to have patience. And that's the biggest thing I want you guys to get out of today is sometimes in life, you got to be patient. And sometimes you get rewarded for being patient. Now, another thing with this, it's a five-year product. Like I said, it's they're going to do multiple print runs. It's not just a one and done like a master set or other things. This is going to be the foundation of standard for the next five years. So they're going to need to keep that product flowing um, to a point where newer players can buy it, get in. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a, you know, a, a schedule for when they're going to release, you know, more printing of things. Now, I do see that the collector boxes seem to be running out. Um, and I get it. If you want to buy collector boxes and you got the money to do it, go for it. Like right now I'm looking at TCG, there's one listing for a master case of 24. There's five listings for a case of six, you know, one, one case of six collector boxes. And then there's 19 collector boxes listed individually. Like that is the lowest I've seen of this type of product, like a collector product in a long time people have been super hyped about this it has been selling off the shelves but i think what watsi did was they allocated a like way less than they normally would to their distributors and held back some of it to push out another wave because we still have christmas coming there is no way 
that Watsi does not have more of this sitting in the warehouse ready to go for Christmas time. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's some stuff coming on Amazon and other things. So they have to create that scarcity to get people to buy it. And the more scarce you make it, the more desired it's going to be, and the more people are going to flood to it. Trust me when I say this, just hold off and wait. Be patient. That's what I'm doing. Um, and I believe a lot of other people are probably doing that too. But again, I'm not telling you to do uh, this or that. I'm just advising what I would do and advising people who may be in a similar situation a little bit of advice on how to proceed. That's it. Um, but hey, I could be completely wrong and this stuff goes to the moon and you never get it again and it's gone forever. But I highly doubt that. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, take things into account for uh, today's video of, of a little bit of lifestyle. Um, also give you guys a little bit of an update of what's been going on with me, why I haven't been around. Um, I actually sound way better than I've <laughs> sounded in the last couple of days. Because if you would have heard me before, I sounded a lot like this. So, um, <laughs> but anyways, I don't want to keep this too long. I just wanted to give a quick update on what's going on with me. Also, how I feel with something, some of the things going around with magic going on right now and just give my two cents on it. So anyways, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, stay syrupy, my friends.